everyone, it's me, Barb, and I wanted to show you all of the 13 brooms available in Hogwarts Legacy and how you can get them. So first we're gonna start with the easiest to get, which are our vendor brooms purchased from Spint, which is Sporting Needs and Hogsmeade for 600 in-game currency each. And here you can see this is the Ember Dash broom. It has a nice glow to the uh, bristles and it has some metalwork and nice details in the wood. Again, only 600 currency. And this is once you have completed the quest to unlock flying and the shop becomes available to you. And he'll say he's been having like supply issues and sorry, he's not been there, but then you'll be able to buy this one. So a nice cheap deal, great broom. 600 uh, in-game currency. The next one I will show you is the house broom. Now I am a Hufflepuff, so mine is Hufflepuff colors. And you can see it has that beautiful fabric, ribbons, nice metal work, and nice full uh, broom bristles on it. Now the next one I will be showing you from his shop is the moon trimmer. It is right here. And the moon trimmer, is really cool. Um, if you drive this one at nighttime, that box in the front glows of the moon. So definitely a cool broom, highly recommend it. Uh, the next one I will be showing you is the Wind Wisp broom. Let me actually show you the Wind Wisp broom, there you go. And it is this one with the scraggly bristles on the end and the lantern on the front. Also really cool because it has that light up feature to it. And the next one that you can get from him Last but not least is the U Weaver broom. It has beautiful green fabric and a ribbon and it has angled bristles on the end with a spirally um, broom staff to it. So definitely a cool broom to get. And all of these are only 600 each. So I would recommend adding them all to your collection, especially at, you know, that budget cost. Now, the next ones we will be going over are from other vendors. Uh, a bit pricier, but really cool looking ones. Uh, the first one will be the Aeromancer broom. It is this lovely one. Uh, that pot on it glows when you are riding and the bristles are scraggly and black, but full. Very cool details on it. This one I believe was from Rohan Prakesh in Poitier Coast, southwest of the Morinim, uh, Morrowim Bridge. I'm probably saying it wrong, guys. It was um, 3000 so a little bit pricier, but a really cool looking broom. And the next one is the Family Antique Broom. There we go. And this one is very neat because of its scraggly look. So if you're wanting something super scraggly, this one's pretty cool. Um, I bought this from Priya Treadwell. Um, she's in the Feldcroft region. And she also has another shop north of Feldcroft Town in the South Bog region. And it was 2,500 in-game money. Really cool broom. Uh, the next one is the Silver Arrow Broom. Let's see if I can find the right one here in the list, guys. There we go, Silver Arrow. And this one was a little bit pricier, and I got it from Arn. Um, you do have to do his quest first, the side quest carted away, and he's in Hogwarts Valley, and it is 5,000. But a very unique design to it, if you're into that angular, um, look that sporty look and the bristles are kind of curved with it as well and I would have to say Probably one of my favorites is the sky scythe broom. It also costs 5,000 and I got it from Leopold Babcock um, He's in Hogsmeade Valley. I think he has one other location, but I'm not hundred percent sure So let me know in the comments if uh, you are aware of his other location or if I'm just wrong I like this one because it has green and black bristles and it has a very ornate staff to it ribbons and beautiful um, Working to it in the details. So very very nice broom to add to your collection. Now, the other final four brooms we're gonna go over, you get from challenges and exploration, and you have to pop balloons. So this is popping your first two sets of balloons. You get the Night Dancer broom. I'll go back and show you the Night Dancer real quick. 
Sorry, there's gonna be a little bit of back and forth on this because I think it's the best way to show you. This is the Night Dancer Broom. One of my favorites as well. It's got beautiful blue fabric on it, nice ribbon work, and black bundled bristles. A really smooth broom. Now the next one from challenges that you get is the Lickety Swift Broom. So we'll go back and look at that one now. And the Lickety Swift Broom is a pretty cool looking broom. It's got a little basket on the back and ribbons and the basket has fabric in it. So you can kind of imagine that you're carrying maybe a little picnic in it or something in there like your lunch. And it's got cool dark bristles and beige fabric. So let's go back into our challenges and into exploration. And that Lickety Swift Broom was for five sets. Now the next one is the Wildfire Broom, very similar to the Ember Broom. This one takes 10 sets of balloons being popped. I'll go ahead and show you that one. And here is your wildfire broom. You can see it has that same ember glow, but it also has that glowy ball thing in the front and a little bell to it, and a bit more ornate woodworking to it. Um, pretty cool broom. I definitely like that one as well. And then back in your challenges we go. This one takes 15, so a little bit more effort. It is the Bright Spark Broom, and it is so cool. One of my favorites. We'll go show you that one as well. Back over here <laughs> to the Bright Spark Broom. So if you like stars, anything celestial, if you like glow, and you like dark wood and metalwork, this one is going to be for you. So let's go ahead and go through these one by one in order. We're gonna equip first the Aeromancer Broom and let's fly around just a little bit. We're not gonna fly long in each of these because I don't want this video to take forever. But let's hop right up here. So this one, the Aeromancer Broom. Look at that, 3000 and you get that glowing blue pot beautiful bristles and you can see it is a very very nice looking broom you got that seat and the glow good choice for a broom definitely worth your hard-earned money so let's go ahead and swap out to our next broom and again we are going alphabetically through the list this time this one will be one of my favorites so let's go ahead and try out the Bright Spark Broom. Merlins, watch them fly. <laughs> Look at this broom. See those beautiful stars? This is a stunning broom, and all you have to do is pop 15 sets of those balloons around the world, so get on it. Totally worth it. A beautiful, beautiful broom. Absolutely worth the hard work to get that one. Let's go ahead and try out our next broom, guys. Back into gear, back into the brooms. And this one will be our good old Ember Dash broom. So remember, this one's only 600 money, but it's still pretty darn cool looking. There you go. You can see the nice glow to the bristles, the bells, the metalwork, and the woodwork. A very nice broom. Let's go ahead and try out our next one. Now, I did take off my cloak. I have it hidden for you guys, so it's easier for you to see the broom details. So I do hope that is helping. The next one is the Family Antique Broom. Again, this one is 2,500, so a pretty darn good deal and snazzy if I have to say so myself. I like it because it's understated and it's dark. So especially if you're maybe playing a dark build or if you like something a bit scraggly looking, um, like I'm doing good Hufflepuff, I still love this broom. I think it looks very, very classy. If you want something that's not all glowing and decked out, this one could be a good choice for you. So let's go ahead and hop onto our next broom real quick, guys. Back into gear, back into the brooms. And this is going to be our house broom. And mine is the um, Hufflepuff one. So keep in mind, yours will be um, based on your house. So you won't be able to go get any other ones because it's got to be your house broom. 
So let's go hop on this one. And again, this is one of the Spent Witches ones, so only um, 600 money, right? Affordable, and you can get it pretty early. And you can see it's really cool. Nothing glows on it, but it's definitely nice if you want to, um, you know, show pride for your, your in-game house. So let's go ahead and hop on our next broom. Back into gear. Back into the brooms. And here we'll be hopping on the Lickety Swift broom. And this one was one of our um, achievement brooms, right? So definitely worth going for. We'll go ahead and hop on this one real quick. And you can see we have that nice little basket, the bristles, nothing's glowing. So it is a nice, softer, understated broom, but it still has some really beautiful details on it. Highly recommend getting every single one of these because I'm a completionist. <laughs> Let's go in and check out our next broom. We're going right on back into brooms. And this one is the Moon Trimmer. Um, so nice one from Spent Witches. Um, so not very expensive and you can get pretty early on. I really prefer driving this one at nighttime, but we are currently in daytime in game. Oops, sorry guys. I've been hopping onto my brooms, but you can imagine, you see that glow from the moon in the front? Imagine that lighting up the night sky and it's got really cool saddlebags on it. Definitely a beautiful broom to add to your collection. Okay, you guessed it, back into the brooms. And we are going to be trying out one of my favorites, the Night Dancer broom. This one doesn't have anything that lights up on it, but it is very nicely detailed and a beautiful color scheme, especially if you like darker colors like black, blue, and dark browns and lightly detailed metal work without it being too overstated. And I also like the bristles on this one are tidy and bound up. So a good choice um, for anyone wanting to complete their collection. And let's go ahead and hop on our next broom, guys. So right back in we go. We almost made it through it, guys. If you're still here with me, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Silver Arrow Broom. Time to hop on this one again. 5,000 in game currency. Um, so if you're trying to save money early on, maybe decide if you want these ones to cost 5,000, but I think they are worth getting, um, especially if you are good at getting money in game. And I do have a video going up on a shiny hunting beast and taking all of your extra beast and making money off of them. So um, I think it's definitely worth getting because if you do that, 5,000 money isn't that much because you can make a whole lot of money really quick. So I'll post that link in the comments for you as well. It will be coming up, uh, that will be posting up uh, this afternoon, which is the 13th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So if it's not up yet, that's that's why. Um, but this one is only 5,000 money and it is quite ornate and beautiful as you can see. So let's go ahead and hop off that broom and get on to our next broom here. Going back in to the brooms. And this one's really, really tied for my favorite, the Sky Scythe broom. Again, 5,000 money. And I would spend this in a heartbeat even if I was gonna be broke after. So let's go ahead and hop on this beautiful broom. And I think you'll see why once I'm on it. Look at that. Like this is the only one with green bristles and it's green and black. It's ornately detailed. It is absolutely beautiful, beautiful broom. I think you guys should highly prioritize this one. And I think you will enjoy this broom if you do get it. So on to our next broom guys. We are almost through them all. Okay, this is our wildfire broom. So let's go ahead and hop on that beautiful wildfire broom and check it out. And again, very similar to the Ember Dash broom, but nice in its own ways. You can see that similar glow, the bell detail, the ornate woodwork. It is a bit more scraggly and you do have that red fabric on it. And you can see that it does make the air glow around it with the heat of the embers. So on to our next broom. 
back into gear, <laughs> back into the brooms. And we are going to be getting on the Wind Wisp broom. And this is another lovely spint, which is Sporting Needs broom from Hogsmeade. So affordable at only 600 currency. And I don't know how much I like this one. I like that as a lantern, but maybe if you're wearing a cloak, I, I might like it better because it feels a bit scraggly on the end. You know, I kind of feel like my broom is tiny, um, but it does have that lantern as a very nice added bonus. And you might like that less full look for your broom, but this one is a nice budget broom and it'll fill out your collection. So I definitely recommend filling out your collection, um, but this isn't one I bought very early on. Okay, right back in to the brooms. <laughs> We've almost made it, guys. We've almost made it. Thank you for being good sports. We are going to go ahead and hop on our lovely U Weaver broom. Again, another spent witch's broom. So affordable, only 600 currency. And you can see it is a fuller broom. It feels nicer to me than um, the last one we were on. And it does have that nice, lovely green fabric and it is um, very nicely done with the woodwork. So if you want something understated and you like angular lines, this one might be the one for you. Very, very cool broom. So let's go ahead and hop off here. I'm going to go ahead and hop on my current broom of choice because it's new to me. I just got it. I'm gonna be rocking the Bright Spark Broom. I'll probably alternate with the Night Dancer Broom and the Sky Scythe Broom. Um, might toss in a little bit of Aramancer Broom because that pot glows and it's really cool. Um, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite broom? because there are so many cool brooms that you can get in this game and the completionist and most of us is going to want to get all of them but seriously really really cool brooms so let me know in the comments which ones you have what's your favorite what are you rocking and if you haven't please click like and subscribe it really really helps i'm a small growing channel and i like sharing my um, joy of gaming with you guys so until next time i'll see you all around and thanks for making it through the video i hope you have a wonderful day playing hogwarts legacy bye guys